Yeah, hi, Robert. Hello, pleased to see you. Hello. Yeah, I can't see you, but it's, uh, if you'd rather be like that. Oh, go. all right, there we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, see how the bandwidth goes, because it's probably okay at this time in the morning, but if you use Zoom late at night where I live, you can't use video because it's, it's com the, everyone's using the bandwidth. You've got no, no bandwidth. All right. So where where are you are you in Abingdon then? No, I'm I'm way to the south southwest of you. I live in the West Country. All right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So how did you um, how did you contact uh, me then on the um, on our website? Yes. Uh, find a meeting on jw dot org. All right. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. No. Because you you'll probably have one someone who's uh, close to you in your town um, I can't I can't get through I have left a phone message but no one seems to get oh, back to you on if, if it's a landline number yeah no that's awkward yeah yes. well Robert well done for uh, for sending us a text thank you yeah what so what motivated you do you receive one of our letters um, I did receive a letter about a year ago but I had been reading your your literature on jw.org since before the lockdown. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you're. Uh, did you enjoy re you enjoyed reading the part that you that you have then? Um, yes. There's a a couple of things I found a little difficult in the book. Um, yeah. Um, chapter six was very interesting. Um, Let me. Um, I tell you what. If I screen share. Um, Robert, if I screen share, and then we can have a look, um, look together. So what on um, on the book is it chapter six? Y yes. Chapter six. Yes, the summary on page twenty eight. Um, says is that this one here. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Jehovah created the universe and all life. So yeah. Jehovah is the creator. I mean, I, I could read the whole of your chapter, but uh, paragraphs one, two, and three basically say that. Jehovah is the creator of the universe and all life. Yeah. Agreed, David? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24 says that Jehovah creates all things. He makes these things all alone and by myself. I'll just, I'll just read it. Um, I'm reading from the New King James, where it says Lord in capitals, I'll read Jehovah, okay? Yeah. Thus says... So what, that, 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 what's that, what's that, um, that uh, verse there, um, Robert? Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24. Okay, yeah. yeah let me just, just find it. It's good to follow, follow through on it. Yeah. You obviously enjoy the Bible then, Robert, don't yes. you? You've done well. Yes. You've, you've done really well. Isaiah 44. Yeah, what verse? Did verse you say? 24, sir. Oh, 24, right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, Thus says Jehovah, your Redeemer, and he who formed you from the womb, I am Jehovah who makes all things, who stretches out the heavens all alone, who spreads abroad the earth by myself. So Jehovah is our Redeemer. Yeah. Jehovah formed us from the womb. Jehovah yeah. makes all things, not some things or most things. He makes all things. He stretches out the heavens, so he works He works in the creation of the heavens all alone. There's no one other than Jehovah helping him. Mm. And he spreads abroad the earth by myself. Mm. So he does this active creation all alone and by himself. Agreed? Yeah. When you get to the New Testament... Um, we find that the Father creates through the Son. At, at Hebrews in, in chapter... Colossians one, Colossians one fifteen. Well, I was going to go to Hebrews chapter 1, verse 2. Yeah. Okay. Um, God, who at various times and in different ways spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds. It says God... But in verse yeah. 2, it's his son. So obviously the yeah. reference to God is to the father. And it said that he 
created all things through his son. That's so right. the son is active in creation. Therefore, the son must be Jehovah together with the father. I won't complicate it by talking about the Holy Spirit. Elsewhere in the Bible, Job 33, 4, Genesis 1, 2, the Holy Spirit is greater. So therefore, father and son must be Jehovah, not just the father alone, because the son is the creator. So what about First Colossians 15 then, Robert? Well, I'll happily go there, but would you like to address what, I, what I've said? Yeah, well, yeah, I think the answer is in Colossians chapter 1, verse 15. But the Son is the Creator. If the Son is the Creator, then the Son must be Jehovah, surely. Yeah, so, so in 15 it says, He's the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Because by means of him, all other things no. were created no, no, in the no, heavens no. and the earth. The word other is not in the Greek text. If you go to the Kingdom Interlinear translation, which I did on jw.org, you will find yeah. that the word other has been put into the Greek text four times, I think rather dishonestly, because it's not there in, it's not there in the Greek text. Yeah. In, in verse 16 to 18, the word other is not in the Greek text. I, I went to the New World Translation, um, which differs radically from basically all of the modern Bibles translated by scholars. Yeah. So, Robert, really, your your um, uh, what, what you're you're talking about is the Trinity. You believe, obviously, in the Trinity, don't you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you know, I I I take your point that most most um, so-called Christian religions believe in the Trinity, whereas we as Jehovah's Witnesses feel that God was, uh, that Jesus was created by God, and they're two separate people. But, you, you know, in, like when Jesus was on earth, he prayed to his Father. There, there's so many things that... Uh, just just one thing, I, 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 I switch off when you go from point to point to point. If you just okay. raise one single thing, I can look at that. But any more, and honestly, I, I, I'm just switching off. Okay. Yeah, I, I, Robert, I don't know what, um, why you, why you've contacted us. Do you want, do you want to know more about what we believe, or, or, um, or is um, it just you just want to tell us what you don't agree with? You, I believe that your book where it yeah. says on page 28 Jehovah created the universe and all life yeah. proves the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ who must yeah. be Jehovah God together with the Father and the Holy Spirit because Jesus is the creator in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 2 and here in verse 16 and 17 Jesus is the creator why did you want to read this passage was it verse 15 you wanted to read just to deal with one thing at a time David Make make your point rather than sort of race from one argument to another verse to another verse. Why did you want no, me to? No, for, for for me, Robert. For me, when you say that um, Jesus must be God, the the scripture that one of the scriptures that convinces me is Colossians one fifteen, and and that's you know to me that makes that makes a sense that. Um, we're not part of it, that uh, God is not part of a Trinity. Uh, Trinity uh, doesn't have parts. That's a misrepresentation of the Trinity. Yeah, all right. You've got to be accurate. If you're going to dis disagree with the Trinity, which you're, which is fine, your arguments are valueless if they're not accurate. You must be accurate in life. You must yes. be precise and you must be accurate. Now, the Trinity doesn't have parts because at the fourth point of the Athanasian Creed says not dividing the substance. So yeah. we we believe that the Father, Son and Holy Spirit are distinct. We don't believe they're separate and we don't believe that they are three parts of God. Mm. All right. Yeah. How does, Colossians, how, how, how does what Colossians 1.15 relate to this? Well, in that in that Jesus was created, he was he was uh, God's firstborn. It doesn't say that. Firstborn of all creation. The word, the word firstborn, and forgive my terrible pronunciation, is protokiskos. And that means preeminent. 
it refers to rank or position or status. Um, the firstborn son, for instance, had a higher inheritance rights in the Old Testament. The word first created is a different Greek word, which is not used anywhere of Jesus Christ in the New Testament. First created is protokiskos. So if Paul wished to say Christ was the first created thing, he would have said protokiskos, and he didn't. He used a word which means preeminent. It refers to rank, position. It does not mean first created. So you're taking that word firstborn and completely misunderstanding it and then building a doctrine on it. I, I, can, I can prove that. You know that the Hebrew Bible was translated into Greek. It was called the Septuagint, yeah? In the Septuagint, if you go to Genesis 41.51, we read, and you'll find this in the English translations as well, you'll, you'll find that Manasseh is firstborn. Manasseh had a twin son, Ephraim, yeah? But Manasseh lost his right of firstborn, his status as the firstborn son, the right of primogenitor, due to his sin, and his brother Ephraim inherited, which is why in Jeremiah 31 9 we read Ephraim is firstborn. So Manasseh is firstborn at Genesis 41 51, his twin brother Ephraim is firstborn at Jeremiah 31 9. How do you explain that? Yeah, Robert, I, don't, I think. I don't think you need need my, um, uh, you know, I mean, I could spend a bit of time doing research and all this, but I don't think it's going to get us anywhere, is it? Well, not if you don't. I, I think I think well, the way you're coming over is you just want to tear holes in what we believe. Would you like to address what I said? How can twin brothers... Manasseh be firstborn in Genesis forty one fifty one, and Ephraim is firstborn in Jeremiah thirty one nine. Unless this word firstborn, prototokos, which I probably pronounced poorly, means preeminent, it refers to status, position, to rank. It does not mean first created. If it meant first created, then you'd have a contradiction in the Bible, because it would say that Manasseh is firstborn because he came out of the womb first. And then if prototokos means first out of the womb, it then says in Jeremiah 31, 9, that Ephraim came first out of the womb. The only way to reconcile this is to understand that firstborn does not mean first created or first to pop out of the womb, out of the birth canal. It refers to rank, position, to status. I mean, the Bible is full of this. David is the youngest son of Jesse, 1 Samuel seventeen fourteen. Right? 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 14. But David is firstborn. He's Jesse's firstborn son in Psalm 89, 27. So how can the youngest son of Jesse be the firstborn son? It's I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to do some Get back to me. That's, that that's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. But firstborn at Colossians 1, 15 has nothing to do with that, Jesus being great. Sorry, I'm getting a sound yeah. coming through. Yep. Yeah, hang on, brother. I can hear a phone. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether it's part of Zoom. Let me just stop. St oh, that's all right. It's gone. Okay. Yeah. Um, also. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, but you know, I don't mind doing some. I mean, you you raised some interesting points there, but I'd have to do some um, research on that. That's fine. That's, on, that, 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 that's fine. Also, at Colossians yeah. one fifteen, do you want to put your new who, world who, translation who, 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 up on the screen? Yeah, Robert, who do, who do you, um, which church do you belong to I don't. or you don't? I, I gave up in 2010 in disgust. Because I've spoken to Total you before, disgust. haven't I? Have I spoken to you before? I spoke to somebody from Ipswich some time ago uh, who, no, who didn't have Ipswich. answers to any of my questions. I yeah, don't know Robert, if that was I'm, you I'm, or not, David. Yeah, I'm confused. I mean, it... Um, I, I did speak to you uh, before. Well, it was someone like yourself who right. came from the West Country, and um, but not. I don't. We, we're not in Ipswich. We're in Abingdon, near Oxford. Oh, you're Abingdon in Oxford. Okay. So I, I don't know whether um, you've got the right. 
Sorry, you are now Abingdon in Oxford or you're now in Ipswich? Yes, no, I live in Abingdon in Oxford. No, I don't, I don't care where you live. Which congregation do you go to? Abingdon. Abingdon, OK. OK. Yeah. So where where, where do you live then, Robert? I, I live in Plymouth. Plymouth? Yeah. Yeah. No, I know some, I know some um, of our brothers in Plymouth. Have you contacted them at all? Um, they don't want to talk to me. Why, why Every is that? single... Um, well, I asked them, I, I, I tried to talk to them, and they don't really, they just tell me to go to jw.org and do some research. Yeah. Could, could I, I ask you the to only, put... The only thing is, Robert, could I, could I, David, could I ask you to put Colossians 1.15 up on the screen, if that's possible, your New World Translation? Yeah, but, uh, Robert, I'll do it, I'll do it, but I'm not willing to have to have a fight with with, with you. Okay. You know, that that's the thing. I mean, I know you you feel strongly, you want to... Try and convince me that uh, what, what a, you say is right. Yes, it's a shame that you can't find Jehovah's Witnesses with the passion and zeal that I have, isn't it? If only you had a, ha a handful of Jehovah's Witnesses in Britain who had the zeal and passion for the truth of Jehovah God that I have. Yes. I mean, wouldn't that be wonderful if you could find Jehovah's Witness brothers with some of my zeal? Yeah, but who do you who who joins you? Are you just on your own then, Robert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just try you and are. follow the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't I don't go to any 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 church at all. Could you put Colossians one fifteen up on the screen if that's possible, please, David? Because uh... I'd like you to notice it does not that your 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 um um I don't know how you're able to do this on Zoom. Um, put images up on the screen, but I think what you'll find is that your Bible says the firstborn of all creation. So according to the New World Translation, you believe that firstborn means created, but it's not Jehovah who created Jesus. According to your New World Translation, Can it's creation that, that created Jesus. Yep. Um, it says, this is the New World Translation, Colossians 1.15, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. So a firstborn means first created, the first thing created. He's not the first created or firstborn of Jehovah. He's the firstborn that the creation made. Mm -hmm. Well, that's ridiculous because clearly if you look at the context from verse 16 onwards, and remember the word other is not in the Greek text. You just need to go to the kingdom interlinear translation. It then says that everything is created by Christ. For by him, that's Christ, the son of verse 13, all things were created that are in heavens, it's actually heavens is a plural, and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him, verse 17. And he, that's Christ, is before all things, and in him all things consist. Now, how can Christ be? The first created thing made by the creation, if all things are made by Christ, that that's contradictory. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't agree with 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 your reasoning. I mean, well, does uh, does me your Bible makes... say? Does the New World Translation yeah, say Robert, that he Robert, is the firstborn of all Robert, creation? I, you know, I'm not I'm not willing to argue with you. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not arguing, I'm reading your Bible. Your New yeah, World Translation says that he's the firstborn of all creation. So the creation created Jesus, not Jehovah. According to the New World Translation, the firstborn of all creation means the, 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 that Jesus was created by the creation. Yeah, no, see, I, I, I Which don't it. Which is ridiculous, it isn't like it? That. Robert, I don't understand it by, like that. But, um, how, how do you understand it? Would you like to read it and explain it? No, I mean, I, I, I'm not, I don't feel it would get us anywhere. I mean, I'm convinced in my own mind what the, what the scriptures say, what they mean, a lot, a lot simpler than, uh, than uh, it maybe you, you feel. But yeah. um, to me, it makes sense right the way through the Bible that Jesus is um, Jehovah's firstborn. By firstborn, you mean first created? Yeah, first creation, if you like. Right. Yes. Where does the Bible say that Jesus is the first created thing? Show me a verse in the Bible that says that. I'd have to do some research. That's fine. You can you can get back to me on that. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, but Robert, what if if 
people won't talk to you. Why won't they talk to you? You're, you, are you having a go at Jehovah's Witnesses because of what they believe? Well, only a little bit. Is that, only a little huh? bit. I am very gentle with the Jehovah's Witness elders here in Plymouth. Yeah, but why? I, I mean, I don't know why. If if you don't want, if you just want to attack us, yeah, then there's no point in carrying on, is there? Well, I'm, I'm not attacking anyone. What I try to do is read the Bible and say, could you explain this to me? And, and, and they can't. Or I read Jehovah's Witness literature and I say, well, look, could you explain this to me? And they can't. No, because you have, I feel you're just pulling it apart. Well, let, let me Go give on. you, let me give you, look, I'll be very brief. On page 55, lesson 13 yeah. says how false religion misrepresents God. Let me read the yeah. second pa paragraph. Paragraph number two, if you could put that up, that would be wonderful, David. Thank you. Let, let me, let me, let me get it. Thank you. 